Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, leg AB is being represented by X, leg BC is being uh, represented by X squared, and finally the hypotenuse uh, AC is uh, X power 3. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x. In other words, we are going to solve for x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on this uh, right triangle ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, x power 3, whereas uh, our two other legs are x and uh, x square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, x square and then uh, square once again equals to x uh, power 3 and then a square. And now let's recall the power rule of exponents. And here we got the nested exponents, x power m and then power n. And that is going to be equal to x power m times n, as you can see over here. And we are going to apply this uh, power rule on these uh, two terms. So therefore, we could write this thing as uh, x square plus uh, x power 4 equal to x power 6. And now we are going to move all these uh, terms uh, on the other side. So therefore we could write this thing uh, x power 6 uh, minus uh, x power 4 minus uh, x square is going to be equal to 0. And here we can see x square is in common. So therefore, we are going to factor out uh, x square. So we are ended up in this parentheses uh, x power 4 minus uh, x square minus 1 is going to be equal to 0. And now we got these uh, two factors. Let's go ahead and separate them. So I can write uh, x square is going to be equal to 0. And the second factor is uh, x power 4 minus uh, x square minus 1 is going to be equal to 0. And now let's focus on this equation. I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our x value turns out to be equal to 0. And now we can see that x equal to 0 is not possible. So therefore, we are going to reject this x equal to 0 value. And here we are going to focus on this uh, polynomial now. So thus we are ended up with this uh, quartic equation x power 4 minus uh, x square minus 1 equal to 0. And now to make our job simple we are going to make a substitution. Let me go ahead and uh, put u equals to x square. Then our uh, u square is going to be equal to x power 2 and then power 2 is going to give us uh, x power 4. So therefore we can see this x power 4 is going to become uh, u square and this uh, x square is going to become simply u. So therefore our equation is going to become after the substitution uh, u square minus u minus 1 is going to be equal to 0. And here we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation u square minus u minus 1 equal to 0. And we are going to solve it uh, by using the quadratic formula. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using. And here we can see our a value is 1, b value is uh, negative 1 and our constant uh, c value is negative 1 as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. So we are going to have u equals to negative and b value is uh, negative 1 plus uh, or minus uh, the square root of uh, negative uh, 1 square minus uh, 
4 times a value is 1, c value is uh, negative 1, all over 2 times a value is 1. Let's simplify. So we are going to have u equals to negative and negative become positive 1 plus minus uh, negative 1 square is going to be simply 1 plus uh, 4 all over 2. So therefore we are ended up with the u equals to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 all over 2. And here we got our u value. And now we are going to separate these two signs positive and negative. So therefore our first solution is going to be u equals to 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 and the other value is going to be u equals to 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2 as well and now we can see that this value of u is not feasible since this is less than 0 so therefore we are going to reject this u value and we are going to accept this u equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here our u value is 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 and we also know that u equals to x square so therefore I'm going to replace this u with the x square over here so therefore we could write x square is going to be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 and now I am going to undo this square by taking square root on both sides. So therefore we could see our solution x value is going to be positive the square root of 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 is called the golden ratio and this uh, golden ratio phi value is approximately equal to 1.618 so thus our solution turns out to be the square root of this uh, golden ratio 1 plus uh, square root of 5 uh, all over 2 and in terms of decimals x is going to be approximately equal to 1.272 as well and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.